Welcome to Engineering Mechanics Dynamics, and this lesson is on absolute dependent motion of two particles. And to explain this, we're going to use a pulley system. And so we have a cord here that connects block A to block B. And one thing to mention is that these cords are inextensible. And inextensible means that the cords will not stretch, so the length of the cord will always be constant. And now I'm going to explain the steps to solve this pulley system. The first thing you're going to want to do is ID a fixed point. This uh, fixed point is your reference point, and so since these top two movies aren't moving, our fixed point will be right there. And so the next thing we want to do is dimension from a fixed point. And so let's make some dimensions. And so from our fixed point, we have that length which is S of B, and we also have this length, which is S of A. The next step is tracing the cord from end to end. And so now let's trace this cord, and so we have this first length, S of A, and then we have a length, S of B, and then another length, S of B, and then a final length, S of B. Um, and then you write out this relationship. And so you have S of A right there plus 3 S of B. So you have 1, 2, and 3 equals the length. And then when you look at it, you can see that this can change with respect to time, the distance S of A, if block A is moving. And so can the distances S and B change with respect to time. What doesn't change is the length of the cord. What this means is that when we differentiate S of A, you'll get the velocity of A. And when you differentiate S of B, you'll get the velocity of B. But when you differentiate the length with respect to time, that'll go to zero because it's a constant. So we can write that out. So V sub B equals, oh, sorry, equals, I mean, plus 3 V sub B equals 0. Finally, the acceleration of A plus the acceleration of B. 3 times the acceleration of B equals 0. And looking back, I noticed that I did V sub B. And that, should, that should be V sub A. Sorry about that. And one last thing to mention is that the number of cables equals the number of relationships. And so since we had just one cable here, we had one relationship. If you had two cables, you'd have a relationship equals the length of cable 1, and another relationship equals the length of cable 2. Now here's our example. Determine the velocity of cylinder B if cylinder A moves down with a speed of V sub A equals 4 feet per second. So here's our pulley system where we have two different cords. So the first thing we do is ID a fixed point, and so we'll set our fixed point right there. And then we have to dimension everything, and the key to dimensioning everything is to find all the moving parts so this pulley that B is connected to will move this pulley C will move and A will move so those are our moving parts so we have S of B now S of C and S of A. So this cord we have S of B. Let me trace plus S of B minus S of C for that section. And then for this last section we have S of A minus S of C. So to write that out you have S of B 
plus s of b minus s of a. Oh, I meant to put s of c plus s of a minus s of c. And that equals the length of chord a c d f. Now to trace our second chord, this first part is S of B, and the second part is S of C. So S of B plus S of C equals S of C D. Now if we differentiate this with respect to time, we'll get 2 V sub B plus V sub A minus 2 V sub C equals 0. And remember it equals 0 because this is a constant. And for the other one, V sub B plus V sub C equals 0 because the length of the chord is a constant. And so, V sub C equals negative V sub B. And then if you plug that, into there, one gets 2 V sub B plus V sub A plus 2 V sub B equals 0, and V sub A equals 4 feet per second down, and then V sub B, when you solve this out, equals one foot per second up because you end up with a negative number for v sub v sub b is in the opposite direction of v sub a when you solve it out so there's your answer um, hope this lesson helped if you ever have any questions never be afraid to ask and good luck in continuing on learning um, these concepts have a great day